Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 25th, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So the energy market also got the hammer today. Uh, WTI is down roughly 2%. Natural gas is down more than 7%. And well, there is uh, the market is technically nervous that we a uh, recession is basically uh, looming and at this point it is almost a certainty that we will see uh, a form of recession probably end of the year or uh, or in 2022 so the main reason for that is because um, there is first of all the inflation problem and in order to get rid of the inflation problem you basically have to increase interest rates and they are going to increase interest rates really really aggressively and that will slow the economy down they're basically going to destroy the demand in the economy and when that happens well you need much much less energy and you will see oil dropping below 50 dollars a barrel probably down towards uh, 30 uh, 38 to 36 dollars a barrel if you looked at what basically happened back in the financial crisis right after within a half a year it went from 139 give or take down to roughly 132 the no, night to 30 dollars per barrel so it lost more than a hundred dollars of its value only in roughly half a year and that is mostly going to happen uh, over yeah, time, time as well as oil. So expecting this to increase significantly higher, that will not be dependent on demand. That will basically be dependent on whether or not supply is, uh, is going to be really tight. So if supply is very tight, which is also can be, and then we may see this spike. But overall trend for demand for oil is definitely going to be very negative. But we have an area here which we need to break in order to go significantly lower, and that is roughly at $95.5 uh, per barrel. So if you look at the swarm, we can see that we are having an upper trend line and this lower uh, support level. And breaking below here, well, that opens the door to the previous highs over here. This is an area roughly 85 to 82 give or take and we also find the 200 moving average right here so that should be a major support if we basically broke below that uh, and breaking below the 200 moving average well that will take a much a much longer if you go down here then we'll certainly have a bounce up towards the 50 and it's not until basically the 50 and the 200 to start crossing that we'll see this starting trending even lower uh, we can go back all the way down all the way to we have the weekly here but you see what happened back in 2008 when we were all the way up here at roughly 130 46 and it dropped all the way down to 33 so that is kind of what happens when um, you get a major recession and we have also completely gone parabolical uh, the last uh, last last year, year and a half and therefore the pullback should be quite significant but that is uh, that is not something that is going to happen all of a sudden at this point breaking above this res uh, uh, resistance line opens the door to 109 and then 116 and then up towards 120 and breaking below here opens the door all the way down towards 82 and the 200 moving average if we look at technical indicators we can see the macd is uh, basically flat at this point you can see the stochastic is bearish and we can also see that the rsi is also bearish and there's a lot of room to the downside another point is that we did close below the 50 moving average and there's almost no pullback at the end of the session and therefore this most likely will continue tumbling towards 95 on monday so let's look at natural gas. This definitely has had a major pullback. So this just got ridiculously overbought and uh, people were expecting this to go to, um, I don't know, to, uh, to $15 a barrel and so on. And yes, of course it's possible, but um, 
but um, this is this is kind of the wrong time of the year for that to go to fifty dollars a barrel. If we were in October and uh, and we were in the same situation uh, like we are now, then yes, this could probably have spiked all the way up to to nine and fifteen dollars and so on. But we're not in October. We're summer is just on the doorstep and demand is just going to drop off a cliff, both for individuals and also for for companies. So therefore, we may see a market that will pull back towards the Fibonacci retracements. One is right here at 6.33. Then we have the 50 down here at the 5.8. And then we have the 61.8 at the 5.2. That's definitely this one or this one are definitely going to be areas where this will bounce. We have the 50 moving average right here also at the 61.8 and dropping below the 50 that opens the door to the 200. Uh, similar to uh, oil, if demand drops significantly, if people have less money to spend and so on, uh, they will also cut back at, uh, at energy, even though um, energy products are uh, very inelastic and uh, they will cut back they will not spend as much as they would have if they had uh, enough money to spend we have other areas that most likely will also be major support we have a double top here and we are actually testing that at this point and i don't think that is going to be a, a a difficult area to break through main reason for that is because there is selling to the end of the session there's no pullback people are just selling 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 and uh, we may see a little bit of a pull uh, a rally and then this continues to lower if we break below the middle of the bullish band then we'll drop certainly towards these previous highs here relatively fast and that's roughly a 5.5 and or the 50 moving average which is 5.3 at this point we can see also that the MACD has crossed the signal line. Last time we did that was over here. And basically this, what well, we got out of that. So crossing the signal line to the downside at this point could signal that we were going to see something very similar to this. So heading towards the 200 moving average and then bouncing from that. That will take us another probably two months in order to get to that point um, and that would also, would also make sense probably two three months to get to the very bottom and then we get to colder uh, a period of colder well uh, colder temperature and and then it will start rising again this is a market that is uh, depending on season there's of course uh, the war in Eastern Europe that also was an effect of this, but usually it depends on the season and it increases in the winter and then decreases in the summer. If you look at the stochastic, it's also, it's also, um, also bearish and so is the RSI and there's a lot of room to the downside. So this can definitely go all the way down towards the 50 or 200 moving average before this gets significantly oversold. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.